Yeah, how you guys doing? It's Airbo in the house again with another video. And check this out, guys. Look what I'm eating. <laughs> you didn't seaweed. I had to show you this because I just tried this. I was um, we're not sponsored at um Trader I would Hill. say somebody's audition when that crash service they were serving this and I was like well I never tasted it but it's so good together you guys gotta check it out you eat chips seaweed and bean dip Chipotle block I don't want to show you the because I'm not trying to put no one anything but it's so good it's anyway, black bean dip it's shorty bread. low. It's shorty low. You already know. I don't know if you guys know, know that, but I just seen that, and I know I'm old with this. I know it's been out for a long time, but I just seen it. And it's so interesting. Wow, the guy is so cool. He's like a rapper, and then he moved to reality. And and I, how did I did not know about him? His songs are hecka good. And it shows hecka good. But the crazy thing about it is he has 10 baby mamas. But it's not weird for somebody like me. If I had 10 baby mamas, I'm in trouble because I don't have the money to take care of no 10 women. But this guy has more than enough money. He can have 10 more baby mamas and he still had the money to take care of it. This guy... It's not close. This guy not even close as big as T.I., but he brought a bigger house next to T.I. Now tell me, how the heck do you do that? How do you have 10 baby mamas? You don't even have a lot of money. I mean, you don't have, like, a lot of albums, but you buy a house bigger than T.I., next to T.I., and you have 10 baby mamas. And he's still doing good. So you already know it's shorty low. Let's get into this, man. For real. Clean that. What's up, world? It's your about everything. You want to know something? You want to, everybody will complain about anything. You want to know why? Why? Well, not why. But you know something that's you know something that people have been complaining about right now? It's one of the dumbest things ever. What? 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 So basically, since you are since you are not in the gaming community, you probably wouldn't know, but the new Call of Duty game that came out that's coming out gotten a lot of hate. Okay. For not, I don't, I don't really know why. Probably because it's not like boots the ground. It's more, it's still like, a, still like um, in the takes place in the future. Okay. They really couldn't have changed it because they like they started developing developing it like two to three years, like two three years ago. Okay. Okay. And so basically, you got he they they got hate for it. It's like one of the most disliked videos on YouTube now. Because. Because they made the game, I, wait, I don't understand. In the future, they made the game futuristic. in the future. Oh, futuristic, and people, a lot of people hating on that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But they couldn't really change it. Right. But after that, you know, people will legit find anything to complain. You want to know something? You want to know something they were complaining about? 
What else? So yeah. basically, if you get a headshot in the game, it's first per FPS, it first person shooter. It's sticky. I still gotta, I gotta walk this off. Basically, they complain that one of the icons in the game mm -hmm. are not the same as the previous as one of the as the previous um. Was that was actually this is not from the not the new game it's a remastered version of one of the older one of the older games. Okay. It's because the one of the icons you get from um getting a kill is the sa is the same as some from one from the another game. Mm. Wow. Mm. You know what some you know what some you know what the most ridiculous thing that people are complaining about is that the gun sounds slightly different. Than, than the than the um original. Oh, I'm gonna complain about it. Oh, that's pretty weird. Weird is dumb. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. People go find something to complain about, but it makes good business. Cause you know what people complain about. Then you either try to make it better, or you try to find the thing that they complain about. And make well, you, that exactly so the more they complain brings more controversy and bring more people to watch your product. Because mm. when people complain about it, people are talking about it. And that's what you no, need for something to sell. No, it made people neglect it. Mm-hmm. But. You don't want people neglecting it. Hate is good. No, it's not. Hate is good. Because, like they said, if nobody's hating on you, then it's nothing. All right, let's see. Oh, you finish what I'm gonna say. Oh, we gonna finish it. See, that's him. That point is. Damn. So he had his show before T.I. People are complaining about that. That's dope. Some of them, man. Come on, man. Now, what you be drinking, dog? What you be drinking, man? All these baby mama folks. How does a guy like me get ten baby mamas and never kids? It's happening. Damn. 
Damn. My third child is Brittany Pippins. Uh, the fourth is Kiana Hill. Uh, the fifth is fifth one is Jaquela Turner. Oh wow, he forgot his kid name. Let me think. When you're 11, you're down at the end of one. Skip up Carlo, I'm skipping up a boy. Yeah, I'm skipping up Carlo. Carlo's coming up for Kiki. Okay, my sixth child is Alexis Watson. My seventh child is Asia Thomas. My fifth one is. Something's wrong with that? No. You don't think anything's wrong? Nothing? If they, I mean, they they accept it. They obviously are living together, so they obviously are okay with it. Why the heck do you look like a plane of that? Exactly. And he had, it's and not like he don't have the money to afford it. Now, I feel like if any of the kids, our mom you know, was getting delayed, uh, what's the word for it? What? Um, Explain explanation what the heck does it mean no like if one of the kids or the baby mama was getting um i mean the mother should be able to take care of herself but if he taking care of maybe three of them and the other four or five or six he's not and they somewhere starving or even one then I think it might be something wrong. But if he got them all again, he's taking care of all of them, and they all don't have no wants. They all he taking care of all their needs. I see nothing wrong with it. I'm saying it's disgust. They all accept it. They all live with it. They obviously they obviously okay with it. Why do you care that how they living? It's a, it's like a problem. Like exactly. Obviously they're living their way because they want to. Why do you have to, why do you have to judge how they live? Exactly. You ain't you ain't if they if they don't have a problem with it, then it's just like how people like she shouldn't have a problem with it. It's just like like racists and like people like um it's kind of like um people who like hate gay people or stuff like that. Mhm. Just because why do you care how, if they gay? Why it's not because it's not, it's not you. It's not affecting you. If they're not trying to talk to you or trying to come on to you, then why should it hurt you? That's so true. I feel the same way. There are bigger problems in this world, and you were complaining about one of the least. Exactly, because when you look at the crime, sorry, this is not about Charlie Lowe and his baby mamas. I'm sorry, guys, but if you look at the crime rate, rape. If you look at the crime rate, you don't, you never really see here about like a gay person shooting out this and shot up this movie theater, then um, did anything. It usually be alpha males. It usually you never really too much see a gay guy. Megalomaniacs. Right. I just learned that word. Or a gay girl doing that type of stuff. So Lesbian. you can't you can't hate on the gays until they start doing something to hurt us or hurt the community, then you really can't hate on gays. That's just my opinion. But let's get back into Shouty. Willfully line up to be 
baby mama number nine and ten. And then one of the bitches got the nerve to be a bougie baby mama. How are you bougie when you're not even the first? You came into a situation knowing that he had all these other women that he had children with, and then you decide to get pregnant? You know, this shows us a lot about how far we've fallen. And I, for one, I'm not going to support this show. If you didn't know that, 97% of mammals right. are polygamous. Why, what? No, I didn't know that. Did I, you hear that, what he just said? We are, we are you like... You said, a, wait, wait, what's that percentage again? 97% of all... 97% of, of all mammals, right? And mammals. Mammals are polygamous. Okay. So, which is, come on, which is a, Which is a, one of the reasons humans cheat. It is, it's just blood, it's from the um, mammal blood. And we so. know... We are actually mammals before we are human. Because... Yeah, humans are mammals. Our humans are mammals. Anyway, we're going to look at it. Because when you was in that damn stomach, you was just like a tadpole. Tadpole. You was swimming in water. You was breathing water. And then, just like a frog, breathing water. And then once you come out, you had a, your legs pop out and then your body form. Like a tadpole. Tadpole, it's... You probably don't know what a tadpole is. a... Frog. It's a baby, a baby frog. It's a baby frog, basically. Okay. Not watching the show. I have no interest in watching this show. I watch reality TV. I go in on the Real Housewives. Of anyway, else, reality TV isn't even real. It's not funny like, to me. The show is just plain sad. You know, the only thing positive I can even say about the show is the fact that they're not bashing him, and he seems to be taking care of his kids. And exactly. He has to do. But we need to stop excusing fuckery. We need to stop making. Do you hear what you just said? He's taking care of them. He's taking care of his kids. That's the only thing that should matter. Sorry. This is for bullshit behavior. This is not cool to me. You know what I'm saying? And it's not cool mm. that women think it's okay for them to be second, third, and fourth. You know, it just shows that a lot of people don't have enough self worth. Because there's no way in hell I'm about to come into a situation where like I see my kids did not and baby mama. And I have no problem attack. being baby mama number 10. I mean, I just think it's crazy. And then he's dating a 19 year old girl. Who's dizzy as all get out? You know she don't know she's coming or going, and I'm not gonna be surprised if a year from now she's gonna be baby mama number eleven. You know the the situation to me is just crazy, and then you got them talking about each other like, well, you know we're the pretty baby mamas and we don't fuck with the other ones, and you know before he had money his other baby mamas were ugly, but then when he started getting money then he started you know picking pretty baby mamas. Like this is something to be proud so? of. You know what's worse is the fact that when they asked him to name all his children in order. He couldn't even do that. He forgot half their names. He didn't know who the fifth child was. You know, like, this is not funny to me. You know, I just think it's really, really sad. You know, it's usually people just, are going to have kids by other people. That's just how but I think, kids. you know, before you find yourself in a situation where you're on your fourth baby daddy, you have to reassess your situation. Like, what's wrong with me? Why, why do I feel the need to keep having kids by any and everybody? I just think the whole situation is just is sick to me. You know, I'm glad he's taking care of his kids. But what I don't want to happen is that young kids look at this show and think that this is how a family is supposed to be or think that this is okay because it's not. We need to realize this. But this is one thing she needs to realize. It's not that a girl is going out and having kids by a whole bunch of different dudes. Now, to me, that's a little weird. Man, this, this, But this situation, these women are going after one dude. They have a kid by one dude. Now, if they all like the same dude, at least they stick with one microphone, if you get what I'm saying. It's, that's just how they it, rocking one mic. That's just how, that's how humans... All like, I need that's, that's, is one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's just how... Um, it's just, it's, ah. But the mammal thing, you killed me with that. I never knew that. I think wow. humans, humans... I'm about to use that, man. Shit, I'm about to start saying that shit. I didn't know that. Like mammoth? lions, I don't know, tigers. Nope. I forgot which ones were the freaking dung. Oh, all mammals are polygamous. Whoa. Not all, 97%. I mean 97%. But that, that says a lot, dog. That says a lot, man. Wow. It's mainly, uh -huh. how, okay, go ahead. It's mainly probably because, um, what humans were supposed to be natures of, the, na the natures of humans. Right. Women were like, um, like nurturers and lovers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why they are the ones that give birth. Males are like the the protectors. Right. And stuff. Wow. 
basically just is the, and that's how like all all animals act, all mammals act. The males are the leaders, mm-hmm. and they, and the females, are there to re to keep the race going. Right. They have no problem with it, because humans. They just we are probably one of the dumbest species spe- species. Well, not probably not dumb. We did we do take over the we did take over the world, so we can't be that dumb. Right. But the fact that we complain about the dumbest stuff. Yeah, but that's not the dumb. the people who took over the world. People who's making the world go around. They're not the ones complaining. No crap. They don't have. What it's the not they them. Complain about. It's the ones that's really not doing too much and sitting around watching other people creations and complaining about other people creations. Now the ones who's creating and making these video games and making these movies and making top shows and tours and promoting this and promoting that, they're not the ones complaining. It's the ones that's sitting around not doing anything. You know what I mean? He has money. So yeah, all his baby mothers, they can get along because they're all getting money from him. But let this be right around the block. Trust and believe all these fucking hood rats will be down at the welfare office fighting and going back and forth. You know, I just find this real, real funny. And then what I like is his first baby mama. You know what I think is the reason is? is? Clerica, something like that. They all got these weird... The reason humans broke away from the polygamous thing? Why? Christianity. Ever since it took over the world, we branched off of that. Which is which is where um, which is why humans probably now are mad at um, are you pointing at me? But why humans are mad will will get mad if you are like going with someone else instead of them, because in Christianity you can only have one partner. Right. Which is funny because. Christians are like the most likely to cheat. I don't I just haven't done research on that, but I've seen a lot of them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Christianity did start it, and even though Christianity they say has been around since before anything else, but yeah, I think Christianity was the ones who uh, uh, started. And that. you want to know something? A lot of people will get will get like um, a lot of you don't know this, but I heard that um. Christianity is probably one of the strictest religions of all time. Yeah, I heard that too. And if if I told you if I was a Satanist, you'll probably I'll probably get a lot of hate well, for that. Not Christianity. I mean Christianity too. I'm not done talking. Muslims, not here, but the Muslims in the Middle East, they strict too, dog. They are they are the closest to Christianity. They are basically they strict. They're yeah. basically that's like making them. That's like um. Porch, Christianity and, Mu- and Muslims are like pork chops and bacon. Christianity is they they look completely different, but they're but inside they're basically the same. The same because yeah, and, and but they make their women cover up, man. They will get they will get towed up, man. If they don't cover up, dog. I know that's how bad the Muslims are. They they women can't. You know, they have to, now Christians aren't that bad here. Like, they women can wear regular clothes. Unless you go to, like, God dang, yeah. But, shh, in the Middle East, man. Them girls, boy, they get caught without their damn hair. They get caught with their hair down. They getting beat up. Well, I don't really know. But if I shh. said I was, like, Satanist, you would get mad at me. Not me. Reason. What are you talking about? I'm talking to the viewers. Oh, yeah. You, but... If you haven't, if you have not, if you have done your research, you would know that Satanism is probably a lot better than Christianity. Yeah, of course. Because I, because Satanism doesn't actually um, worship Satan himself. Worship Lucifer. But He's like um, there's nothing bad about the, it. The I forgot the God Lord, whatever one of free will and critical thinking. Right, it's not an actual person, like uh. Christianity is more like they worship, um, like uh, a person, like is Jesus is an actual man or a prophet, whatever. But when you talk prophet about Satanists, they not 
it's not a man that they are talking about a personality. They talking about um, somebody material, materialistic stuff, free will, stuff that make you feel good. If it makes you feel good, then they feel like that's what you should do because that's what life is about. You're supposed to live life to to the fullest, which is, I think. Now I could be wrong, guys. Don't get me wrong because I'm not uh, really religious like that, but. Now, Christian, it's like Christians, Christians they worship uh, somebody that's called Jesus, and he's actually a person that's watching them, and if they do something wrong, they will get punished. So, yeah, Jesus I would probably, definitely, I would rather, I would definitely rather go with the uh, other side, because I don't want to. Um, and um, Satanists actually don't hate Christianity. Be, they actually laugh at training camp. I don't want to be like in boot camp my whole life because of. You know, somebody watching me and I get punished when I do something wrong. Because I feel, this is me. And I know this is way off. To me, I know when I did something wrong because I feel bad. Nobody don't have to tell me. It's, it's not in a book. But I feel bad. And when I feel bad, I feel bad. I'm one of them type of people that I can't hide it. And, and it hits me fast. If I do something wrong, immediately... I'm going to feel it, and I'm going to be thinking about it. I mean, to the point, check this out. Damn, I'm making this video so long, sorry. But I remember one time I stole something out of a store. Everyone has once. I think this video But, I know, but I still... <laughs> really? Okay, we're we ending this now. No, we're not ending this. You better continue this story. But... You see Blasphemous videos? He, he like... I it. stole something. And I can't remember what it was. I'm trying to think what it was. Because I stole stuff a lot of times, but it, it didn't get to me. But it was this one thing. Oh, I remember. I was in a store, and the store is like a herb store. Herb. Herbs. Yeah, herbs. And the Jeez. people are so nice. And, and, you know, in the store, they have a lot of stuff that actually help you. And if you go in there and tell them, they actually will find. They will even order stuff that will help you, that they think will help you with your problems. So one day, I didn't have the money, and I wanted both of them. And I actually took something out of that store. And when I left, I feel so bad because I'm like, damn, these people, they're like a papa. They're like a mom's and pop store. They have their own business. They're have a, they they're not like Lucky's where they're million billionaires. You can steal stuff. They don't care. They're billions. But this person, they're not like that. So when I stole it, dude, let me tell you how bad it hurt me so bad to the point that I didn't even open it. <laughs> no, I didn't open it. I came back the next day. Fake like I was going in there to buy a cup of coffee, I mean a cup of tea, and put it back. That's how bad it affected me. I really don't get affected by it really anything. It affected me like that, dog. I know. So. Yeah. But she was arrested in 2010 for bringing a gun down to the courtroom. But she swears she's a classy baby mama and she's the one who's in charge of the finances. And I'm just like, this whole situation is just trash. There's no other courthouse in America that has the reputation of the one behind me. Three people killed five years ago, a judge, his clerk, and a deputy, all murdered by a gun inside that courthouse. Mm. Well, is her this woman, Esseria Perez, literally to the Fulton County Courthouse yesterday. Let me show you what investigators say they found in her purse. First of all, a loaded semi-automatic handgun, a 380. The clip had 15 rounds in it. That's fully loaded. But the other thing they found, perhaps even more interesting, was a stun gun. It was disguised as a cell phone. It's operational. A deputy with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office demonstrated that stun gun for us just a short time ago. He says the woman's now been taken into custody. She's in the Fulton County Jail facing some serious charges. Damn. And then you have black folks trying to co-sign with the shit. Well, you know, at least they all get along. Well, yeah, he has money, so they're going to get along. You know, people are saying, well, if the Duggars can be on TV, why can't they? The difference is, and I don't like the Duggars. I don't like their, you know, what they stand for. They seem money hungry, and the kids are just are weird as hell. I can't get into their show. But the difference between the Duggars and this bullshit is that they have 20 kids and counting, but guess what? The Duggars are married, and all the children have the same mother and father. It's not worth, you know, Mr. Duggar and 20 baby mamas. That's no. the difference. You can't compare this show to the Duggars. It's like, we'll find any reason to excuse some fuckery. Straight up. And then I find it funny that also none of the kids have his last name. You know, it's like, as he was reading out the list, I'm like, damn, ain't none of them named Walker? 
you know, this is crazy. That just shows that it wasn't even a relationship with most of these women. It was just either one night stand, something quick, or this person just supposedly wanted up pregnant by a rapper. You know, so the right. I'm just I'm not feeling it. The trailer was just ghetto, was ratchet. You know, and then the one baby mama, the the baby mama from hell. They all have like these real ratchet names, but the baby mama yeah. from hell looked like hell. And I'm like, he had the nerve to talk yeah, about tiny being ugly, and his baby mama from hell looked crazy as shit. You know, the whole situation is just sad to me. I will not be watching this one. I was special. Go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely in that video. But, I, but, guys, if you guys agree with her, leave a comment on mine. Okay, this is Benito Airbo coming at you again. Bow. Hold on. With nice. another one. But, please. Oh, that's so tight. Look at that. It's so icy. But yeah, leave a comment and tell me you agree with her because us, we don't agree with her dog. I just have an open mind. That's we, what that is. Yeah, we don't agree with that, man. That's it. All right. That, moral of the story. We'll say that for another video. Moral of the story, keep an open mind. Keep an open mind, man. Keep an open mind.